in this video clip we will solve a given polynomial to find the root of the given equation uh, a simple equation roots can be found through the simple factorization quadratic uh, formulas and uh, by taking commons and so many other methods but if we have a uh, polynomial of very high order or other uh, different equations non-linear, uh, non homogeneous and homogeneous and so many other so that uh, we cannot find the real root so then we approximate uh, our solution for finding root in this one of the method is bisection method and suppose we have a, a function a continuous function f and there are two real uh, numbers a and b such that f of a and f of b uh, is uh, less than zero then f of x has at least one zero between a and b so it means that because the function is uh, positive at one and uh, negative at other interval so uh, there must lies zero and between the two intervals so we can find uh, or we can approximate approximate our roots uh, between the interval a and b now comes to algorithm uh, step one find the two numbers a and b first we have to find first of all we will find uh, a and b for which f has different signs means that uh, at one interval the given sign will be uh, uh, plus and the other will be minus then when define uh, define c which is the midpoint of the two intervals uh, a and b uh, if b minus c is less than epsilon epsilon then accept c as the root and stop further calculation step 4 f of a and f of c is less than 0 then set c as the new b otherwise set c as, the, as new a return to step 1 again we will uh, come to step 1 and solve further and further so how we can uh, solve yeah how we can approximate our root through the excel so let comes to uh, an example suppose we have an example we solve uh, an example through the bisection method and we can approximate uh, our root suppose we have function x cube plus 2x square minus 3x minus 1 so let we take a different values of a b c then f of a then f of b f of c and uh, find b minus c and error for one and b let's suppose we take two you can take uh, the values of a from either minus uh, from anywhere from anywhere you can take value but actually there will be the two roots one one uh, will be in the uh, negative integer and the other will be the positive integer so and c is actually the midpoint so this one plus 
this fun. Divided by two. Now we can find we will find f of a for f of a actually it is x cube. So let's suppose first we will find for a so this one cube then plus two multiply x power two then minus three multiply x minus one you can see that there is the sign of multiplication if you didn't uh, uh, multiply this two with the x then the excel cannot recognize that what is in between the x and two so multiplication sign must be inserted then you will come and then you will get your answer what is the mistake uh, we have multiply x power 2 you can see that here we have multiply uh, 2 multiply x but actually what is x so x is this one and here again we have x so this is our so the x value there must be the values of x not x you get answer then here drag to here so you can get values b minus c equal to b this one minus c so you get b minus c now as uh, if we find f of a multiply f of b so it is less than zero so it means that uh, the interval lies between the one and two now if you look to the f of c so so you can see that f of a and multiply f of c is less than zero so we will replace b the interval b with the c so for this what we will have to do what will we have to do so we can say that here we will uh, insert a formula f f f of b multiply f of c is greater than or equal to zero you can see that if both are positive so c will replace this b so we say that f f of b and f of c is greater than or equal to zero then take the value of b then replace b as c otherwise So now you will be you will see that it has taken two. Control Z. We have made a mistake. F F F of B multiply F of C is greater than are equal to zero take what value c value otherwise take v value take it one so similarly we insert the same formula here f f of a multiply f of c is greater than 
are equal zero so take what values c values otherwise comma or otherwise we uh, here insert comma otherwise take the value of a and then enter can drag down this one similarly you can drag down this one now now what is the error for error uh, let's suppose we uh, say that b minus c is less than uh, sorry b minus c is less than epsilon yeah, you cannot so epsilon actually this e represent epsilon so in a given example in a given uh, uh, example or numerical problem let's suppose we take that this e must be 0 0.01 where e is where e equal this e equal 0 0.01 so we will stop our um, approximation if we reach if, re, uh, if b minus c values reached up to this one so what we will say here that uh, equal f bracket this values reach less than less than 0 0.01 0 0.01 then t part true and f for false so automatically here t r f will come so we can f t come here so we will stop our calculation uh, onward again we have made a mistake and 0 0.01 f this value is less than this let's say one one for true zero for zero so. 0 for false and 1 for true now drag this to this one so our calculation is completed up to there because we get a true values and we can check that the b minus c values is less than epsilon epsilon uh, where epsilon is 0 0.01 and you can check that b minus c values is actually less than 0 0.01 so this is the method that uh, we find and we approximate our solution through the bisection method for the given polynomial and you check it um, that um, uh, we have say here that uh, the bisection if b minus c is less than or equal to epsilon then accept c as the root and stop so uh, this c is our given approximate root thank you so much